Welcome back to You Can Do It. Uh, this is the second part of our KTM 300 power valve series. And we're going to uh, install the power valve and set the Z dimension. So what tools do we need? Torque wrench if you like talking up. We've got a um, 5mm uh, hex bit. We've got a T25 uh, torque. We've got a uh, blue Hylema gasket tape, um, Loctite 243. Uh, we've got a couple of um, Presta valves of a bicycle, but I'll tell you what the valve caps, but I'll tell you what they're for in a minute. We've got a vernier cal set of vernier calipers. Um, now, all the parts, I've put new uh, two new O-ring seals on, so you need to do all that. And obviously these are the new seals here, they're here and here, so they've had new seals. Everything's cleaned up, the coat, it's all ready to go back together. So, let's get on with that then. So first things first, we'll take a little tiny bit of grease, grease on here, and here. Put that all the way around. So we put some grease on there, so we can now put these caps back on here. They're on there. I've rubbed a bit of oil around there, just a little bit of grease over the uh, the O-ring seal, just to help that seat Next. properly. We we'll gently drop that in. There we are. She's in there. That moves nicely. So right. So now we're going to put our seals in here. There's lots of different ways, but I like to just put a little bit of uh, gasket sealer in there just to hold the seals in. So we'll get we'll get on and do that now. So we can stick these in. One, two, three, four. See that just holds them in there, so they won't they won't pop out. Okay, now we've got the power valve in. Just check it moves okay. So when you put put it in. Obviously, you've greased, greased this surface, but make sure that that is completely flush down there. Completely flush down there. I and mean, we're actually going to put the, the plates on anyway, but just, just, just to help the situation. Okay, so now you understand why we have to put the um, stuff in here, because what we're going to do here is we'll turn this over and we'll do this side, which is the left side. Now, what we're going to do is, is put this control flap in here and the plate. The one with the L on it, on the left hand side of the engine. We're going to put some grease around that, which I'll do okay, that She's now. greased up, put her in there, push that down, and then we're going to turn that to the back, so the teeth are pointing to the back. Okay. Install the power valve, install the side valves, and make sure, you see you can, there, make sure that it's completely full bore in there, and leave you it like keep that. Keep that power valve there, basically it's, it, this side valve is fully open, so it's in the position of when the power valve is right at the top it just makes it a bit easier for when we're setting the putting the um, next bracket on okay so now we need to put a retaining bracket on here just to hold this down snug and this in tight so let's get on and do that now we need to put loctite on these just a little bit of two four three. bracket put your bracket in now as i said Loct loctite two four three a little bit of loctite for two four three you don't need loads on here because uh, if you ever have to come and take it off again, you, you can't. So you just put them in there, and then there. Okay, so these have got to be talked up to about seven. Need me. There you are. That's good. Now we're going to do the other side. Take a valve for this side. So this will be the one with um, nothing on it. There'll be no markings on this side. Put a little bit of grease on here. That all the way around on the O-ring. And we sit that, push it in, and then again, if we look down, look down that power valve on the side there, as you can't see really. If you look down that power, that, that slot there, if you look down like that, you just need to make sure that the valve, you see, that's slightly open, just make sure it's completely, that's right, it's full bore now, okay? So now we've got that on, turn this over, we're going to put the bracket, put this bracket back on. So we now know that that's at full bore as well. Take our bracket, might help put it the right way around, put it there. Remember it's a bit of Loctite 243, but just put a tiny bit, people put so much on, that when you come to try and take it off, just put a tiny little bit on. There's actually so much on there, I've got enough for both of them. Stick that one in, loosely do that one up. That one's already got Loctite on it as well, so... OK, 
Okay. And then again, these I'm going to do to seven. There we are. Lovely. Okay, so we've got that retainer in, that retainer in. Okay, now we're going to put the put this cap on here because in actual fact, some videos have you you're putting this bracket on now, but actually there's actually a little gap there because there's nothing that's holding this in tight. So we have to put the main this cap on now to pull this in tight so that the distance between these two is, is right. Okay, so let's take take a cover and uh, we'll just put a little bit of a uh, gasket sealer on there and then we're ready to put it together. We've just got a light covering of gasket sealer on there and place this on. All right, then we'll put these uh, bolts in. Remember, one, one of the brackets goes up on that side, the other one goes down on that side. Like that. So we'll do these up in a crisscross fashion. Um, these don't need any lock tight in them, on them, but. Right, these are talked up to 10 newton meters. Well, I do them to 10 newton meters. One, two, three, four, lovely. At this point, just check that your power valve, power valve move, moves freely because it should be completely free to move around in there. Yeah, that moves around fine. Okay, now on to the next stage. We can put these uh, side arms on. So what that I've done is putting this on is make sure that that space between those two is, is right. Now the arm should go on. Now we shouldn't have moved that, so that's still at full bore, which basically means when, the, when we put, push the valve valve right to the top like it is now, then the bracket should just slot straight on. This is the bracket that we took off. Remember, I didn't loosen this because uh, it was already the, the Z dimension was was right. We're obviously going to check that in a minute, but so this. Just fits on. Oh yeah, look, fits on perfectly. So you now know that those two are timed up right. Uh, we can obviously double check once that's on. But um, fairly simple thing is the power valves up at the top. This here, this here should be right in that bottom bottom groove there. So you know then that that power that that uh, side valve is fully open as well. So now we need to put this bolt in. This is um, needs a bit of Loctite on. A little bit of uh, Loctite on there. We'll put that one on, in, and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about That was talked up to uh, 10, so that's all good. It moves, look, that moves all nicely. So now we're, now we're on the other side. Take the control arm here. There, again, it just slots straight on. Power valve's open, fully open. One of there. So just check it moves freely. Yeah, look at that, nice. Right, so now we can start putting the next bit on. Fit this little baby, so that's on there. We then fit this over the top of it, through that hole on there. There we go. Now, base plate on it, you've got this one on it. You then put your spring on, and you make sure that the, the long lever is on the bottom side and it clips just behind that uh, stud there. And then we can then put that one on and we can very loosely tighten this bolt up. But we need to put a little bit of Loctite on that bolt before we uh, put it in, so let's do that now. And we keep it loose because then that will allow us to, to get this spring here over the top. So now I'm just gonna get myself a pair of pliers and pull that spring back over the top of that pin. And I've pulled that over to that side, look. So she's on the other side of the pin. So now we can talk this one up. Okay, that's now talked up as well. So that's all working. Yeah. So that's it. Let's just, now we just want to just, I mean, it's, it, it will be timed up because there are those uh, things, but let's just check 100% down here. So you can check, look. When you've got your power valve fully open, when you look down there, you should see a completely open side port. 
And same again on that side, look, full empty That's side it. port. Um, now we're going to go over video part three, which is basically setting the Z dimension. Um, I'm going to show you two or three different ways of doing that. So please log on and look at part three of this video. You can do it.